glad to be able to have this time with you on this Thursday, and we are so thankful for the Lord's goodness. Today I'd like to encourage us with one of the Psalms, and I love the uh, allusions to the geography of Israel, as that's often the case throughout really any time there is a song that's given a psalm throughout the Old Testament. They refer to the different aspects of Israel and that which is good and that which is bad. And we read in Psalm 125, 1, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Now, if you were to go to Jerusalem today, Mount Zion is still there. Not, it might be hard to see it as a mount because it is the southern part of what is the old city of Jerusalem. And yet when you actually look at it from the top of the Mount of Olives, you see, oh yes, Mount Zion and then Mount Moriah. And after all these centuries, Mount Zion is still there. And we can be assured that our God is immutable and he is eternal. And despite all of the changing circumstances, politically and economically, and even in the arena of health and so forth, we can absolutely be assured that those which trust in the Lord will be as Mount Zion. And then I love verse two. As you go to Israel, sometimes guides will quote this, when you come over the mountains that, that surround Jerusalem, and they will quote this. What's so interesting about Jerusalem is it's built on a couple of, of little hills, mounts as they call them, and then it's surrounded by higher mountains, which made the city really impregnable. It stood on these mountains and was had a wall around it uh, on these smaller ones and with deep valleys, and then you had these larger mountains that surrounded uh, all the way around. And so that's why Jerusalem was so well fortified. And we read in verse two, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. So you have this wonderful imagery given to us that if we'll trust the Lord, we can count on him. He is going to be like Mount Zion. He's not gonna be moved and we're not gonna be moved because we are in Christ and Christ is in us. And also we have as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, the Lord is protecting his people forever. And so no matter what the news headlines are, even for Christians in Afghanistan, and which is a very difficult situation, or in Myanmar, or in other places where our hearts really go out to them, God is with them. And God does glorious things through times like this. In fact, some of the greatest move forward with the church is in Iran and in Afghanistan. So it ought not surprise us about all of the political pressure there. And so we can count on it in our lives and in the lives of those around the world that if we look to the Lord, God's going to be with us. He will take care of us. His will will be accomplished, and we don't have to be thrown by all that's happening. That uh, as Zion abideth and it cannot be removed, uh, as the mountains are there, so is our God. Let's put our full trust in him.